hi friends hello friends in my this uh, tutorial I'm going to show you how to do simulation for a basic NOR gate and uh, I will try to explain how to do the post layout simulation for the same before that you have to invoke the cadence for TSO tool so first of all we have to open the Vertuso so open terminal source the license file then choose Vertuso and we, we have to create a library file new library then give a library name suppose full underscore so custom okay it has to an existing library so we are using SCL as a library so this is the technology library that I have TSL 18 yes then uh, we have to make the cell view of a NOR get a file new cell view then make the cell name as NOR and uh, make the library that you have just now created full custom and make the type as schematic then click OK if whenever you get this window just try to instantiate it by clicking I or you can use the symbol in the above that is given that now I'm showing you this the symbol that you can directly instantiate browse then uh, instantiate it from the library that you have the technology library that you have suppose uh, NMOS 18 we are instantiating NMOS 18 and PMOS 18 so NMOS 18 means that is the NMOS transistor that is that supports 1.8 volt so make the symbol view of it and uh, instantiate it two times as in our design we need just two transistors for each PMOS and NMOS so you can change the properties by clicking Q and uh, properties by right click and go to properties so this is the PMOS get length and get width you can change so I'm giving suppose 12 3 sorry that is for PMOS right 12 and uh, get length suppose I'm giving 1 make it apply ok do, do the same thing for the next transistor also for NMOS yes make the changes yes get length 1 and get with 3 then make the wire connections by clicking W as we are designing NORGET so we are giving our wires direction according to our design now we have to assign the pins so this is the pins uh, this is the uh, shortcut window window or we can we can uh, type P for the pins. So as we have four 
two inputs input one and input two and uh, VDD and VSS also we have to take uh, as a input pins so input ok so just put it in the desired locations input one input two VDD and VDD VSS and also make the output pins and uh, make the direction from input to output ok then just uh, the next step is to connect the substrate of PMOS to VDD and uh, connect the substrate of your NMOS to ground next check and see if it should be warning free and error free so once it is created then go for launch, launch ADL analysis this is the symbol for analysis then go for choose as uh, this is we have lots of options trans DC AC but uh, we are doing only transient analysis so we will be choosing trans then stop time is suppose we are doing simulation for 100 nanoseconds then 100 n and then moderate and ok and once it is ok then go for the uh, we have to include the model libraries also so go for setup model libraries and uh, the model library will be given by the foundry so it is in the dot lib format so in model li model lib we'll be having the specification of the transistors so that is the suppose we are using TT18 so the, the we have lots of other options also like TT18, SS18, S FS18 then slow slow fast fast this kind of thing so as we are using typical so we, we will be taking TT underscore 18 ok then uh, once it is done then we have to give the stimulus for the inputs so give the stimulus see we have four inputs input 1 input 2 ground and VDD so for ground we have to cha change the function to DC from bit and uh, we have to tick the check the enable mark DC voltage as we are this for ground so we will be giving 0 as the DC voltage and apply and next we have to give for VDD so make the same changes function to DC and then DC voltage is 1.8 then we have to give for inputs as a pulse so make it as pulse and uh, give the voltage 1 as 0 and voltage 2 as 1.8 as this voltage level will fluctuate between 0 and 1.8 so make the for period as 14 nano and uh, pulse width as 20 nano as we are trying to make a square wave so next same pulse make it pulse and then voltage is 1.8 then period is we are just trying to make the double 18 nano pulse width is 14 nano apply ok outputs to be plotted select on design uh, the output waveform, f uh, waveform file that you want to see just choose just chile select on that particular nets so we have chosen input 1 input 2 and out next click the right green button ok see this is the waveform window that you have and uh, this, this is a not these are not in split mode view so to split the waveforms we have to go for the split mode waveform that is this symbol ok click on here slip split all yes so this is the waveform this is the desired waveform that we have so see when inputs are 0 0 then only output is high so it is the functionality of a NOR gate so this is meeting the functionality of NOR gate so so we it is ready with the schematic so next step is to I will show you 
how to do how to make the symbol out of it and before that i will show you how to save the session like uh, whatever session we had how to save the session and then i will show you how to make the symbol you see go to session then do you want to save the no for the time being it is no go to session then save then cell view and any state suppose i am writing inputs then okay so you will be having one session in the name of input in the current working directory of yours then i will show you how to make the symbol out of it then go to create then cell view from cell view and uh, then click okay and left pins right pins top pins and bottom pins see this is the these are the pins okay fine then as we have designed a nor gate so we will try to draw it a uh, symbol that is similar to nor gate Okay, so symbol creation is completed. Now do the check and save. So it is about to complete. So finally, we have uh, designed this nor nor gate, and uh, we have done the pre layout simulation. Next step, I will show you how to do the post layout simulation of the same. So till then